Dad, you got a Gymshark package. Here. Hey, wow, man. What do you reckon's in here? Is there a G-string? So these are like very healthy, warm tops, Daniel. I mean... Wait, wait, don't throw away the, uh, what's this? Premium Legacy. Nice. Ooh, this is the Premium Legacy stuff. Guys, this, this is, is gonna be good. Oh, the, yeah. The beige stuff. It's a nice color, huh? Yes, this is what I wanted. Oh, yeah, baby. I really like this color. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice color, huh? Oh, look at that. Nice Legacy logo. It's Beautiful, stitched. mate. Can't wait to try this on. What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we have a chest workout in the homemade basement gym and it's currently 3.38 in the morning so I have to be relatively quiet doing this voiceover but I'm basically just going to take you through this workout and give some recent updates on what's been going on in quarantine. So as you may have seen, I decided that I'm going to compete in bodybuilding in some division I don't know what yet I, I initially wanted to do men's physique because it's the smallest division and you know I don't really want to slab on a ton of muscle um, but a lot of people are saying I should do classic because I have good legs and I should show off my legs which is kind of an ego boost because I've always considered myself to have pretty shitty leg genetics but um, I definitely would like, I, I like the idea of showing off legs in Classic. I don't like being covered by board shorts. But the size in Classic is like, for you to be competitive, you gotta be really big. And um, I just don't know if I wanna be that big from like a uh, aesthetic standpoint. Like, and also the amount of gear, you know, I'd end up having to take if I wanted to really get competitive in Classic wouldn't be that healthy and I kind of have to jump in with both feet if I wanted to do classic um, and I don't know if I want to be I, I don't know if I want bodybuilding to be that big a part of my life because I have like other hobbies that I want to do but anyway as for the workout I'm doing uh, 295 for I think four sets of three paused on bench and then some overhead press which you will see some other shit too um, so as for like powerlifting and stuff, cause I know a lot of people have been saying, no, don't do physique, don't do bodybuilding. You, you're strong. You got to compete in powerlifting. I'm definitely still going to train the big three and I, uh, I'm still going to compete in powerlifting eventually. So, you know, by training the big three while I'm prepping for physique or classic or whatever I end up doing, um, I will maintain like a lot of that strength. And so yeah, I definitely still want to compete in powerlifting and arm wrestling too. Like, I, I'm i way behind on actually signing up for these things because everything's been canceled due to quarantine. So once that's lifted, it will be easier to organize these things, but I have every intention to, uh, to do all of them. But um, yeah, quarantine's putting a damper on that. Speaking of that, you guys should tell me what you think in the comments about this whole coronavirus quarantine shit going on because there's been so much misinformation spread on both sides. The people that are saying it's really bad and the people that are saying it's not so bad. Like it's just this whole kind of clusterfuck of misinformation that it's hard to see what's like actually true and what's not. Because, you know, you have, you have like those two urgent care doctors that came out and basically said like they're being encouraged to write COVID-19 as the cause of death uh, on people's death certificates even if like they don't have probable cause they're being encouraged by third parties to like write COVID-19 as the cause of death and you know just like a lot of doctors kind of coming out and saying that something isn't right here and you know, they wouldn't do this with any other disease, so they don't know why they are doing it with COVID-19. Um, so there's talk there that like the numbers are being inflated. And then you have like the monetary incentive too, because hospitals get way more money for COVID-19 pneumonia and uh, peop uh, putting people on ventilators. Uh, like hospitals get around $39,000 for putting someone on a ventilator if they have COVID-19. So obviously there's some monetary incentive there and you know I'd like to think that 
hospitals and like the people in charge of maintaining public health are altruistic and you know benevolent and whatever but um, I know that money is a huge incentive so tell me what you guys think in the comments because like I, I just don't really know what the public consensus on this is. The mainstream media says that it's like a really big issue and then kind of the intellectual dark web is saying that it's a giant reptilian scheme that was invented in a Chinese lab. So we're getting two very different narratives from each side and yeah. Anyway, um, so I moved on to some Arnold Press here and I think I did three sets of 12 or something, three sets of 10 maybe really trying to grow shoulders in case I end up doing um, men's physique. I want to obviously have really capped delts, more cap than they already are. Yeah, that is basically it for the voiceover. And oh yeah, then I went upstairs and did some pull-ups at the end here because I really need to blow up my back if I want to do well in physique. I've never really taken back training seriously because it's just like kind of not as fun as chest. And I don't know, I've just never had a huge incentive to really take back training seriously. But as you can see here, I think I did like three sets of 15 or something, just kind of throwing in some body weight pull ups at the end of my chest workouts on top of doing much more intense back days, trying to, uh, yeah, grow. Or was this body weight? I can't see with the voiceover going. Yeah, this was body weight. So, anyway, as for the acne, you can see I still have some acne going on um, but it is clearing up it's just a really slow process like I've always kind of had bad back acne it's really annoying I never really had face acne or anything uh, except for when I was like 13 14 but I've always had back acne and it doesn't really seem like anything I try fixes that and like I've got the hyperpigmentation going on too those dark spots which make it hard to get rid of um, but Anyway, now it's time to watch me flex, because that's what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video and you've seen other videos of mine, then you might as well hit that subscribe button, because what the hell are you doing if you don't? And you should also hit the like button so that the YouTube algorithm blesses me and shows me to more people in the recommended. And uh, that's basically it. Enjoy quarantine, everyone. I love you all. Goodbye.